Hey, what's up, everyone? How you doing? It's me, Mr. 4 k Upscaler. So, xCloud, and uh, what do I think about the xCloud so far? Well, uh, one thing for sure I can tell you is that uh, there's tons of games and there's tons of stuff to play, and uh, it's all pretty much free at the moment. Uh, 90 plus games, nearly 100 games, and they are keep growing. They got Destiny 2. Um, look, here's the thing. Microsoft has the ball rolling because of, obviously, their partnership with different developers and the exclusives that they have. So for Microsoft, this really is going to be an easy walk into a park because they don't have to go out there and and you know make deals with all these other developers because they already have developers they already got deals google it's brand new google it's just starting to get into the whole gaming platform you got to remember uh, microsoft has been doing this since 2001 all right for for 20 years nearly 20 years uh, two decades they've been doing this so that they, they have a nice you know footing into this whole gaming industry but here let me show you how uh how it looks uh let's go jump into uh one game here shall we let's jump into forza 7 uh the fact that you can play forza 7 uh and forza horizon 4 on your phone for free it's pretty darn good People ask me, what is this clipper that I have? This is a uh, VPI, VPI Geek, VPI Geek, VPI Geek, uh, VPI Geek. It's like $7.99, $8, very cheap. Uh, it also comes with these uh, thumb stick covers that you can put on your controller. Uh, it's very, very cheap, $8, not a big deal. Uh, I'm going to get it couple of more of these i might get few a few of these just to have them around in case this one breaks pretty cool uh so shout out to uh the pie geek there you go not bad for eight dollars that you get this clipper and these thumbsticks uh covers pretty cool now it's syncing with my uh xbox one x console version of the game with all the trophies and everything here we go forza forza 7 motorsport what is the phone i'm using i'm using a note 10 plus why because it's bigger it's better and it's perfect for gaming All right, so let's go ahead and uh, let's do a single player free play. Here we go. Go to the race. I'm just going to start the race right away. I'm not going to waste any time. I'm just going to jump right into this and uh, I'm going to check it out. All right, here we go. Let's go check it out. You can see me right there as well. It's 720p 60, and uh, quite honestly, it looks really good on um, it looks pretty good on this Note 10 Plus phone. I have tested this on Wi-Fi hotspot. Didn't have any issues. Didn't have any problems. Yeah, this is crazy, man, <laughs> that we're playing Forza 7 on a uh, Note 10 Plus. Pretty cool. I don't know how well you guys can see it, but... Uh... It's a very smooth 720p 60 experience. All right, let's jump into a Halo, shall we? Let's jump into a Halo really quick. 
Here we go. Halo. Halo. Let's jump right into it. We're just going to do a quick campaign. There's a multiplayer, obviously, but I'm just going to do a quick campaign. Uh, campaign, Halo Reach, Resume. And it's loading right now. It loads pretty fast, actually, as a matter of fact, as you can see clearly here. Very smooth. There's the uh, yeah. night vision. I mean, this is awesome, guys. I mean, this is the one advantage that the Xbox has is the fact that they have more games, you know, and... Um, one thing that that Google State is lacking, obviously, is trying to catch up, trying to keep up with what the X Cloud has. I mean, when you look at the games like Halo, Gears, and all the upcoming games, it's gonna be it's gonna be tough, man, to to top that. You know what I mean? It's gonna be very difficult to top that. But hey. But we'll see what happens. Look, the point is this. Uh, the point I was making the other day was that, to me, it doesn't matter who wins, whether Google wins or loses. I think the one thing that has been proven to me is that this technology works, guys. This technology works, and we all should be excited about it. The fact that you don't have to wait. Do you know how long it's going to take you to download Halo Reach? 120 gigabytes or maybe longer. Do you know how long it's going to take you to download this game and then to update this game and then to play it? Four hours, even on a good internet speed. And here I am, just click and good to go. Click and play any Halo I want. That's, that's the advantage. That's what I was trying to tell people. That's, that's the one big advantage of this. I mean, clearly you can see it. it's uh, working well, no issues, no problems. I played the multiplayer yesterday. I played a couple of matches. Uh, didn't have any issues. I played it on uh, Wi-Fi hotspot, which is like 75 megabit, and ran smooth. No issues. That's crazy, man. The reason I say it's crazy because I never expected that uh, I would be playing Halo games on a phone like this. But hey, there you go. Well, this video is going to be ending pretty soon. I hope this video gives you a little glimpse on uh, the X Cloud. Uh, I am connected to Wi Fi hotspot, just so you guys know. My uh, nearby Wi Fi hotspot. And it works fine. I mean, 720p, 60 is great. People say, oh, it's only 720p. Bro, 720p is more than enough for a phone. And it's running at the 60 FPS. So it's all good. Well, there you have it, guys. You know, xCloud, obviously, I mean, what's not to like about it? I mean, there's no complaints here. It's free and 100 games. So, well, there you have it. All right.